Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys the easiest way to install TensorFlow in Anaconda Python. We know how complicated this process could be, but I intend to show you guys the easiest way to do so. Let's get started and see how we could do that. As I said in this video, I want to talk about the easiest way to install TensorFlow in Anaconda Python. TensorFlow is a free and open source software library for machine learning and artificial intelligence. It can be used across a range of tasks but has a particular focus on training and inference of deep neural networks. Before being able to use TensorFlow, we have to first install that in our systems. We know that installing the TensorFlow seems unnecessarily complicated from having to open and code in the Anaconda prompt or comment prompt to having to write a lot of coding. But what is a better way to do that? Is there any easier way to do that? In this video, I am going to show you guys a much easier way to install TensorFlow in Python Anaconda. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, we first go to Google. We write Python Anaconda download. We go to the website. This is for the Windows and we download it. It's being downloaded here. Okay. It's ready. Next, I agree. It's next. Install. As you can see, it's being installed. Okay, next stage. And it's over. Now let's open Anaconda. Okay, the Anaconda is installed and this is the navigator. Now, let me show you how we could install TensorFlow very easily. First, we go to these environments right here and we create a new environment. We call it TensorFlow. Now, let's choose the version of the Python. It's important which version you want to choose. The version 3.9 is the version to go because the way that I want to show you guys, you can't go 3.11 or 3.10. 3.9 is now the latest that you could install TensorFlow on using my method. So uh, the version 3.9 is chosen. Now we create. It's been created. Okay. So the new environment has been created. Let's go to the new environment. TensorFlow. Okay, this is the new environment. Let's first install a Spider because I like to work with Spider. The Spider is being installed. The Spider is the best to use. Okay, the Spider is installed. As you can see, now we go back to the environments. Go back to the TensorFlow. Here, I say not installed and look for TensorFlow. Tensor flow right on this one and choose caress and tensorflow now i have these two and i hit the apply button right here it's going to it's going to go on for a little while and then these two packages are going to be installed it's important to choose caress and tensorflow at the same time you can't install TensorFlow on its own. You have to also install Caress at the same time. Okay, here are the packages that it wants to install. You just hit Apply. As you can see, it's being installed. As you can see, the installation is about to be done. Awesome, installation is completed. Let's go check TensorFlow. You have to just refresh at one time. This is the base environment. Let's go to TensorFlow environment. Let's launch the spider. This is where I want to check if TensorFlow is installed correctly. This is the spider. Let's just write import TensorFlow as TF. And as you can see, it hasn't shown any error, which means TensorFlow has been installed correctly. If there was an error, that means the TensorFlow has not been correctly installed. And you have to just go back and install it and just go through the same stages as I showed you. Make sure you would go through the same stages as I showed you here. 
first open a new environment make sure the python version is 3.9 and then install spider in case you want to work in spider i love working in spider as a matlab user spider makes sense to me because this resembles matlab a lot and then when you're done installing spider just go to environments go to tf and then uh, choose the not installed here and just look up tensorflow and install keras and tensorflow both of them and then after you're done come here and uh, come onto the console and write import tensorflow as tf if there was no error you're done if there's an error you can repeat everything that i told you and make sure that you would do everything correctly and it's about it Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.